Hi, fourth graders, and welcome to Math Workshop. Today we're going to focus on remembering and identifying arrays as we see them within shapes. Before we start, let's get started with a warm up. I want you to pause the video and I want you to solve for the following multiplication equations. Remember, sometimes this little star here can represent multiply. When you have your answers, press play. All right, welcome back, fourth graders. So let's go over our work. Three times two, six. Five times four, 20. Four times three, 12. Seven times eight, 56. 40 times 50, or four, or 60, sorry. Four times six add two zeros, which give me 2,400. And 80 times 50, or eight times Five, add two zeros would give me 4,000. Nice work. So earlier this week, fourth graders, we started working or reminding ourselves on how to use arrays. One thing we reviewed was rectangular arrays. Rectangular arrays have the same amount of rows and the same amount of columns for each object. But the arrays re represent a rectangular shape. And the answer is the total number all together. So for this rectangular array, it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five rows, and one, two, three, four columns. So this would be a five by four array. And I know that five times four equals 20. We also learned about square arrays. Square arrays are different from rectangular arrays because they create a square shape. Each row and column have the same number of objects. I have three rows and I have three columns. This is a three by three array. And three by three gets us nine. The most important thing we need to remember, columns go vertically and rows are horizontally. So keep this in mind as we practice today. On your whiteboards, I want you to take a second and represent each problem by solving with an array. I want you to draw a two by six array. When you think you're ready with your array on your whiteboard, press play. All right, fourth graders. So I know that a two by six array means two rows and six columns. So I should have created something like this. Two rows, six columns. When I put that all together, two times six equals 12. Nice job. Let's try another. Represent this equation using an array. Welcome back. So it looks like I have a five by three array, which means I have five rows, three columns. Five rows, three columns. Five times three gets me 15. Let's do one more. How would I represent this six times seven using an array? Pause the video, and when you're ready, press play. Okay, let's go over this together. So six times seven, I know would be six rows, seven columns. So it's going to look something like this. Six rows, seven columns. And when I put this all together, six times seven equals 42. Awesome work, fourth graders. So today you're going to be using arrays to help you solve for some multiplication equations. The biggest thing we need to remember Rows go horizontally. Columns go vertically. All right, guys, let's get started. 